Welcome to another Open Maker review. This time I review the Pesky Products ICS 43434 I2S microphone breakout. Pesky Products sent me two of these microphones for a review. They can be found on tindy.com. There is a link in the description of this video, as well as in the tutorial that I uploaded to GitHub. Also, that link is in the description. Let's get started. I am connecting the microphone to a Raspberry Pi. I presume you have a micro SD card with the Raspbian operating system on it in the Raspberry Pi and that you have a working network connection. Here you will also find the link to the Pesky Products site or the store that is on tindy.com. So you can order your breakout board here. First connect all the wires like in the images. When you're sure you wired everything correctly, boot the Pi and log in over SSH. The rest is a matter of copy and paste, so while we watch me do that, let me tell you something about this great microphone breakout board. This is a small 0.4 by 0.3 inch breakout board for TDKs, Infansons, ICS 43434. Bottom ported digital microphone that outputs I2S audio as a stream of 24 bit serial words that can be directly read by any microcontroller with an I2S port. No codec is required to decode audio data. The ICS 43434 has the same low noise and high sensitivity as the ICS 43432, but cuts the power usage from 1.1 mA in normal mode to 500 micro amperes and adds a lower power mode which uses a 230 micro amperes. That's right, the ICS 43434 uses only 20% of the power of the ICS 43432. The pinout is straightforward. The microphones are not 5 volt tolerant, so apply no more than 3.6 volts to 3.3 volts on the board. Since this microphone is connected with I2S, there is one big advantage over normal microphones, which pick up a lot of noise as a result of long wires. This microphone has an amplifier and microcontroller built in, so there are no wires between the microphone and the microcontroller, where the sound is converted to digital. And digital signals are much less sensitive to distortions. Be aware though, that not every microcontroller has an I2S port.
Before we finish, here's a recording made with this microphone. Testing 1, 2, 3, 30 centimeters. 1, 2, 3, test. Conclusion. This is an amazing microphone. The audio quality is exceptional and having it on a breadboard friendly breakout is even better. If you are doing something with audio on microcontrollers, this is the microphone you should get. If you want this microphone, I suggest you get it from Pesky Products. Not only is this the only breakout board out there for this microphone, but they also have many other interesting boards. For example, the Butterfly Development Board and many exciting sensors. You can find all necessary links in the description below and if you like my videos, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Have a great and safe end of the year and I'll see you back in 2018.